thought of as the sex wars yeah. or about sex positivity, how those things interacted with thinking and talking about HIV and AIDS. Do you have any thoughts I think about it that? was super important because it gave you a language for talking about um, it gave you a language for talking about sex. And I think one of the first ways I got into doing HIV stuff honest God, I can't remember, but I know I did like workshops for um, the AIDS committee where with whom, teenagers, I know there were teenagers involved, I know there were bananas or whatever we were using. Um, uh, and, you know, at some point, somewhere, if not in the UK, I can't remember if in Toronto, there were certainly um, public discussions or workshops around lesbian safer sex, which, you know, in the epidemiological sense was not the biggest issue of the time, but to be able to construct um, uh, you know, looking or thinking back on it as much about having some kind of conversation in solidarity, like, mm -hmm. well, if, if gay men's sexuality is going to be completely transformed, it's important for other people to be having those same kinds of conversations. Um, and there were, there were a lot of conversations among friends who would have, um, uh, shared the kind of pro-sex sensibilities or the um, uh, we want to be we want to be the fun lesbians who have a lot of sex and are you know like are are having um, interesting conversations. And